Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include EU is losing 4 billion a year to fraud Wealth tax to pay for EU bailouts EU flags up deeper new economic problems for Italy, Spain and France The European Union considers new laws to impose losses on depositors Plus, EU admits corporate corruption exists in oil, logging and gas industries. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage. More than 4 billion of taxpayer cash is disappearing from the European Union budget every year because officials are failing to get a grip on fraud. Are we supposed to be surprised by these headlines? The European Union has not been able to have its accounts signed off by the auditors for over a decade. I ask, who is really the fool? The EU who loses the money and can't figure out where it was spent, or the morons that continue to keep replacing it? I'm sure this news will delight the Volkers of Deutschland. Wealthy households would face new taxes on property and other assets under German plans to prop up the struggling Eurozone. Advisers to the Chancellor, Angela, I must be mental Merkel, are pushing for better off households to pay towards the costs of any future bailouts for the weaker members of the single currency. The members of Germany's Council of Economic Experts, known as the Five Wise Men, is often used to test new policies that are later adopted officially. Well, clearly this is a humorous attempt at extracting the urine from the people of Germany. Surely no self-respecting Euro Bureau kleptocrat would be seriously considering such a move. Unveiling its second review of economic imbalances in 13 European Union countries, the Commission flagged concerns about France and Italy, while including Spain and Slovenia among countries that could face fines if they do not correct course. In Spain, which had to borrow €40 billion Euros from the Eurozone last year to recapitalise its shattered banks, it said very high domestic and external debt levels posed serious risks for growth and financial stability. A relatively large bad loan portfolio is threatening the stability of Slovenia's banks and has raised investor concerns that it may be the next candidate for emergency Eurozone loans. European Union ministers will consider a proposal this week to impose losses on interbank deposits of lenders in dire financial trouble as they shape a draft EU law introducing powers that would also penalise those with big savings. In a document prepared by government officials in Ireland, they write that interbank deposits of less than one month should also be penalised. Now, we'll be watching this space very closely. There is more to these announcements than first garnered. You have to think about what is not written, not just what is. The EU has a skillful set of press writers who are masters at eliding the truth whilst delivering the message. We'll keep you posted. The European Commission and Parliament on Tuesday ended negotiations on the accounting directive by agreeing a compromise proposal after fierce lobbying from industry and non-governmental organisations. The deal requires European companies to report payments of more than €100,000 made to governments in the country they are operating in, including taxes levied on their income, production of profits, royalties and licence fees. Now, for those that haven't read it yet, I personally recommend you grab a copy of Vulture's Picnic by Greg Pallast. This will give you an inside investigator's point of view as to just what goes on behind the closed doors when it comes to corporate manipulation. This new legislation will do nothing to curtail the problem, but it is an open admission by the EU that the problem exists and that indeed vast sums of money are being spent to manipulate markets at an EU level. Today in our video library, the European Union as we know it will not exist in 10 years. Believe me, says Barbara Kolm, president of the Austrian Economics Centre in Vienna, Austria. 
While countries like Sweden have instituted successful reforms according to Kolm, the high taxation, powerful unions and bloated bureaucracies in most European countries will lead to the collapse of the EU's economy. Kolm's advice to policymakers in the US, don't become Europe. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the e unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the words section of our website. Join us in our live question time style online show, The Unit Interactive. Broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, the unit on Google+, links to the community page are below. <laughs>